Your shift is in the VIP Ward 4. It was an emergency case last night. You looked at her. Why do I always get everything that I hate? She chuckled along with you. Girl, you are lucky to work on VIP patients. Lucky my foot? They are too choosy and irritating. Gotta go now. It seems to be a very special person, you know. There is so much security in the VIP ward. He looked her surprised. Really? She nodded. Show your ID. You got stopped by a handsome bodyguard but at the same time you find him annoying to stop you like that. This has never happened before like now you have to prove them that you are a real nurse. You release an annoying sign making sure he noticed and showed your ID. Hmm, you can go. He stepped back making space for you to go inside. You gave him a weird look and walked inside. He came inside the room mentally cursing everything and closed the door before turning towards the VIP patient when your body just froze on its place. The way your heart skip a beat was illegal you know that but holy moly you've never seen a man like him in real life. He just looked like came from fantasy world. Have you never seen a man before? His deep ocean voice brought you back in reality along with embarrassment. You bit your lower lip and lowered your eyes. I'm sorry. Are you the nurse in charge? You notice that he has a bodyguard inside the room too. You nodded before walking near his bed. Yes, you again looked at the man and your you felt goosebumps when your gaze met each other. His dark eyes can easily make someone afraid of him, but you find him attractive. Wow, looks like you got into a big accident. Jimin was too stunned to hear your casual way of talking that to in front of Jungkook, and Jungkook was staring at you still, you feel unbothered. I have to change the bandage so can you please sit properly, I have to remove your shirt. You noticed that they both were looking at you that made everything a little awkward. I mean I have to remove the shirt in order to do the dressing. Jimin came near, I'll help. Jimin helped him in sitting and remove his shirt while you swallowed. For the first time in your career, you found yourself lucky to work in VIP world. He was so fine, the apps you never knew exist in real life too. Stop staring and do the freaking treatment. You slightly flinched by his hoarse voice. Every thought shattered into pieces in a second. You thought of him as some gentleman, but he's not that. You started doing your work while Jimin trying to control his smile because don't know why he found all this so cute. He got shot in his chest leaving you wonder who he is and what he do because either way, very rich businessmen or politicians come to mostly VIP wards. He finished changing his dressing when a bodyguard who was standing outside earlier came inside. Kim is here boss. They were talking like some secret agents or mafias, you thought in your mind. 
let that freaking bastard in. He sound angry and you were really confused with this guy's behavior. The bodyguard bowed and left while Jimin looked at you. If you're finished then you can leave. You looked at Jungkook but then looked away instantly and gathered your stuff before leaving the room. Get discharge papers right now, we are leaving. Jimin looked at him confused. You had operation last night. Doctor said you have to stay for a week at least. Jungkook shot him a glance. Just do as I say, hire this nurse if necessary. Jimin didn't want to do that but he knew he doesn't have choice. He nodded and left while Kim came inside the room trembling in fear. What? No, I'm not going to do that. I told you that I'm going on holidays. Sorry, but I can't take this charge. Send some someone else instead. You instantly rejected the offer not knowing it was an order. They are asking for you and you have even attended him one time so. So what? I'm not going with him as a personal nurse. No, never. He is offering $100,000 per day so give it a thought. The moment you heard the amount, your eyes widened. What? $100,000 per day? Are you serious? She nodded. He seems to be super rich. I'm not even kidding. You won't go at any cost but hearing the amount of money you couldn't able to deny. It's like you hit the jackpot and you are not someone who missed opportunities. Do you still want to say no? I'll do it for you. She laughed knowing damn well how you are. You are here in this big mansion that you have never seen in real life. All the way you were observing how luxurious life rich people lead but the specific person is another level. The amount of security you have seen here left you wondering if all of them need this much security or this man is different. Have some coffee. You flinched slightly as he brought you back from your thoughts. He sat on another couch before extending the cup towards you. Thanks, he smiled. Please feel comfortable here. You nodded, but suddenly a loud sound came from upstairs. Your eyes widened and you looked up along with Jimin. What was that? He got up. I'll check. He walked upstairs and you followed. You came inside and gasped when, which was clearly unexpected but you caught his attention and met his dark case. What happened to you? He said going to his jungle. That freaking Kim ran away. How does this happen? You felt goosebumps hearing his voice. What? It can't be possible. I'll check. Jimin looked at you and then walked away while your heart dropped when you found yourself alone with him. You slowly looked at him and he was staring at you with his dark eyes. What are you doing here? What do you mean by that? Didn't you just hire me to be a personal nurse even without my consent? After saying this whole thing, you realized that you shouldn't have spoken this much in front of him. Your eyes landed on the piece of glasses all over the floor. Then you noticed his hand which was bleeding. Oh my god, your hand! He looked at it and then at you. Fix it. 
You were still standing there completely frozen. Do you have hearing problem? You looked at him. I'll bring the stuff. You walked out of the room. Jungkook picked his phone and dialed a number to ask Jimin what the heck is going on. You came back with the first aid box. Did you take your medicines? Shouldn't you have to be accountable for that? You sighed. Fine, sit here. He walked to the bed and sat on it while you picked a chair and placed it beside his bed before sitting on it. Why didn't you stay in the hospital until recovery? You said while cleaning his hand. He was just looking at you, so impressed because you were talking to him without any fear since the first time. Aren't you getting paid enough here? You lift up your head and looked at him for a second and then again started doing your work. There was silence for a good time and it was awkward. You should control your anger because you are already under treatment and still you are hurting yourself. This was the first time anyone has told him to get a hold of his anger. Do you know whom you are talking to? You shifted your eyes on him. I'm myself curious to you know, I mean, don't get me wrong but all the security outside and those bodyguards, I mean, you seem high profile person. This was the very first time Jungkook heard himself chuckling and he was shocked. Surely it was your impact but your reaction was different. You smiled back not knowing who he really is. Wow, you smiled too. Good, good. You finished dressing up his hand and walked to the nightstand before grabbing the box of medicine. By the way, I don't know your name. It wasn't even mentioned in your discharge papers. Why so secretive? Because I can't disclose it. You turned towards him. Is that so? Are you an undercover agent? Then you laughed a little. I'm sorry, I'm just joking. Actually, I watch a lot of mystery thrillers. You like them? You nodded. Yes, I love them. Something way more interesting than romance. Jungkook found himself falling for you and he realized that he was acting completely opposite to his personality. He was smiling while listening to you. Romance is boring? I never heard anyone saying that. I thought I was the only one to think that. I'm not saying it's boring but life should be adventurous, you know, something much more interesting. You gave him his medicines. At least I found someone who has same interest as me. It's good. You are brave. You chuckled. Really? Well, I didn't do anything to be called that yet, but I'll take it as a compliment. The day when you found out that Jungkook was actually a mafia and you've been living with a mafia in his house for like a week now was really terrifying. But as you found yourself settling in slowly, it was not that horrible. Jungkook was almost recovered yet you didn't get a call from the hospital, making you wonder why the time period is not over yet. You were told that's for a few days. What? Are you kidding me? Why didn't you tell me it's for one month? You let me come here for one month? That's crazy. You were on the call with Maya and it was so shocking for you to know that the time period was for one month. It means you have to live here for three more weeks.
You guys literally betrayed me. Aish, that's annoying. You heard footsteps approaching, so you ended the call. Your heart skipped a beat when you saw Jungkook. He was out for a mission a while ago, and you were not expecting him to come back so soon. Having dinner, not actually trying to figure out what to cook. You like ramen? You don't know why he was asking you that, but you decided to answer very much. He nodded and walked towards the kitchen island. You like my special recipe then? Are you going to cook? He looked at you and just gave a nod. You were really surprised talking to Jimin. You already found out that he's changing, but you didn't believe him until now that you're experiencing yourself. I mean, I would love to, but don't you want to rest? I mean, you just came back from work. You said walking near him. This is my stress reliever. I cook when I'm stressed. Is that why you don't have meats in your house? He nodded. Spicy or mild? He said pouring the water into the pot. Your choice, I'm okay with both. You have no idea how to describe this feeling. It was like he's your sweet caring boyfriend and just know how to lift up your mood. A while ago you were cursing the hospital staff for trapping you here and now you want to live here as much as possible. Are you fine with living here? Your heart stopped beating for a few seconds when he looked at you and asked this question. You have no answer for it but still your heart already said yes. He shifted your eyes to the pot because you can't look at him. He sometimes get too attractive that you find yourself thinking wild and then curse yourself. I mean, I'm here for work so I have to. Not like that. I'm asking you if you find it comfortable here. Your eyes met again. You didn't realize how close you both were standing. I, I didn't understand. You lied. See, I'm straightforward and I'm telling you that I'm in love with you. Your heart started thumping inside your chest. If you feel the same then can we make it official? Your cheeks were red. You have no idea what to do at this point of time. Of course you like him, but this is so fast. Um, uh, you looked around trying to avoid his gaze. It was getting extremely hot. Jungkook poured the ramen in a bowl and did some decorations. You knew he's in love with you. A mafia who is scary as hell that even his own people are scared of him is just doing everything for you. Never showed this side of him in front of you and straightforwardly confessing his love. What else do you even need? Here you go. He said placing the bowl in front of you. Thanks, I mean, I'm feeling like someone special. You are special. You swallowed again and then smiled awkwardly. It tastes good. So, what do you think about us now? You choked and he got you a glass of water. Thanks. Only you know how you were feeling at that point. Of course you were not planning to say no. He's your dream man in every way but now that you are experiencing that princess treatment in real, it is a lot hard to come up with a decision. Need time to think? You looked at him. I mean, I'm not planning to say no. He smiled just a little completely getting your answer.